Welcome to this time of special reflection and prayer to our Mother of Perpetual Help. As a global family, we are, at present, facing a most difficult and uncertain time. Here at the Basilica of Our Lady of Perpetual Help in Boston, Massachusetts, we turn to our Mother with great devotion as one family of faith to implore her powerful intercession. My name is Father Anthony Mahalik, a Redemptorist priest here at the Basilica, and I invite you to pray with us to our Mother of Perpetual Help for an end to the coronavirus and for the healing and protection of all God's children here and everywhere in the world. We ask Mary to help us increase our faith and our trust in God's loving presence among us. We ask our mother to be with us and to guide us at this most vulnerable time in our world today. Mother of perpetual help, your loving children come to you today, imploring your mercy. We look to you and we bless you as our sure and certain help, and we thank you, Mother, for your loving and maternal protection. With greatest confidence, then, we come to you at this time of great need. You know the extent of the illness to which we are exposed and you know the many trials and fears that we are experiencing. We ask you, dearest Mother, for your powerful intercession. We ask for help and relief for all those who are afflicted in any way from this present sickness. We ask your comfort for those who live in fear, who are alone and without help, lead us to those most in need. We ask you also to guide, to bless, and to protect all those who are seeking a cure of this present virus, that it may be brought under sure and certain control. We ask eternal rest for those who have died and healing for their loved ones. As we wait for an end to this time of sickness and suffering, help us to remain confident in you, dearest Mother. Bring us ever closer to your divine Son, Jesus, and help us to endure these trials with love and patience. We ask you to bless and protect our world with your loving embrace for you are and always will be our mother of perpetual help, our refuge and our hope. Through the powerful intercession of our mother of perpetual help, may almighty God bless you and free you of every ill of mind, body and spirit. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The world is very quiet at present. It's a quietness to which many are not accustomed. The world has ceased to be the world as we know it, loud, fast-moving, crowded, and actively going about the business of life. The isolation, the quietness, and the stillness that is all around us because of the present pandemic has brought about a great uneasiness for many. We are all a bit more vulnerable, in need of the assurance that all will be made right in the end. 
No matter our age or our state of being or station in life, everyone understands this need of personal reassurance that tells us everything will be made right. And so, as people of faith, we turn to God with more fervor perhaps than we have in the past, asking for the protection and the help and the strength that we need and that we know can only come from God. It is right that we turn to God and as children of God, as a family of faith in Christ, we know that thankfully, we also have a mother, a mother who loves her children and who will not leave us alone when we call to her. Mary wants us to know that she is with us at this time. And she is asking something of us. She's asking that we enter into the silence and the stillness and come closer to her and her motherly protection. Come to me, she says, and I will lead you into the comforting arms of my son, Jesus. It is at times such as these, we feel how very fragile we are, how utterly dependent we are on God. We begin to see more clearly how true it is that God has created us to be a family of love. That is why it seems so very strange to have to distance ourselves one from the other. It's not who we are. We're made for loving communion with one another in Christ. And because of this, our mother Mary is helping us to see something else. And that is to see the beautiful gift that Christ has given us by giving us the church. How precious a gift is the Mass and the gift of the Holy Eucharist. We feel this now, perhaps more than before, now that we are not able to come together as a community of faith, not able to come together to the altar of the Lord Jesus as a family and partake of the gift of his body and blood. Mary is the mother of the church, and we are her children who belong with her at her side at the table of her son. That is who and what the church is, the family of God, gathered in faith, together in Christ, for the praise and the glory and the worship of God. Mary is asking us to remember that we are still a family of faith. We are the church, even though we cannot come together into the house of God and to the table of the Lord at the present time. She wants us to know that we are still a family in Christ and that she is our mother and she will not leave us alone in the dark. Have no doubt that she is with us as we await our return to the house of God and the table of her son. She's with us in our present needs, just as she was present to the needs of the young couple at the wedding feast of Cana. There she turned to her son and she said, they have no wine. And now 
she turns to her son and says, they have no Eucharist together, no body and blood of Christ, no celebration of the Mass to share as a family together in the house of God. Jesus hears the words of his mother, and he will act on them, just as he did at Cana. Mary also spoke to the servants at that wedding feast. She looked directly at them, and she said, do whatever he tells you. And so she says these same words to us, Do whatever he tells you. At this time of separation, Mary asks us to enter into the quietness and listen to the voice of her son. Listen to him in the stillness of the world at the present time. Listen for his voice and allow his words to speak They will be words of comfort and healing. They will be words of blessing and peace. They will be words that fill us with hope and light and life. They will be words of truth that will help us all to grow in childlike trust and in full maturity of faith. They will be words that offer us courage in the face of whatever doubts or fears may come to us. Above all, they will be words that speak of the love and the eternal presence of our God, who has never left us and who never will. Christ has promised us, I am with you always, even to the end of time. That is the promise of Christ to his church. And so we remain together as a family of faith, though separated at this time, and we wait with sure and certain hope for that day when we will all return as one family to the house of God and to the altar of the Holy Eucharist. And as we wait, we pray together as a family. We pray for the healing and peace that is so needed at this time. We pray for an end to this virus. We pray for all the doctors and the nurses and caregivers who are working selflessly and tirelessly to bring an end to this pandemic. We pray for all of those who have lost their lives because of it. We pray for the peace and serenity of the families who have lost loved ones. We pray for all of those who are afraid and alone at this time. We pray for all government leaders that the grace of the Holy Spirit will guide them in the important decisions they must make at this time. We pray for the healing and the protection of all God's children everywhere in the world. We pray with confidence and in deepest faith to Mary, our mother. She is with us now, and she will be with us in our every tomorrow, because she is our mother of perpetual help.
the chaplet of divine mercy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he arose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting, amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible. Look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair or become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.